Hey everybody, it's Hannah Makes 4 and I have this new beauty, I guess you could say, with me. And I just found her today at Goodwill for $3. And I have not done anything with her yet, obviously. There's her price tag, $3. And my daughter is so excited because she thinks she has her own American girl now. But um, right now she doesn't have a name. I just call her doll bait. My husband laughs. But, um, so this is doll bait. And I have my non acetone nail polish re remover ready. And I am going to take off the awful face paint that she has, the awful lipstick and eyeshadow, and hopefully give her something more natural. And of course, her hair needs to be straightened out. So I figured what better than, you know, experimenting at my dolls, but to try it out with her hair. And she has layers. I don't think her hair has been cut because it's all, you know, at the bottom it's all in length and it just has layers throughout. Um, but it definitely needs to be combed, possibly straightened. And it has this awful yarn, like they try to do like, hair wraps or something in her hair. So that's gotta be taken care of. But yeah, here she is. She reminds me of kind of a Springfield doll, but she is a Tolly Tots. And I was debating about her, but I couldn't leave her there. So I got her, I rescued her. But her body, if you look at her body type, it's just exactly like an AG. Now the feet are a little bit formed different, and the hands are, but like the total makeup of the body is so ag like, and she doesn't have like a neck string or anything, I assume, if I can get it, she has like a Z, um, like cable tie, or zip tie, and then she has tolly tots on the back of her neck. So, um, this is just going to be kind of the process of cleaning up Dolby, and I will find a better name for her. And then I also got a little shelf for my minis, and probably my little loopsies, because um, the minis are too little to fit on the top shelf. But I found that shelf, and it was only like $6, I'm like, that would be perfect for something, I can't leave it there. And then I got this little... The little lamp right there. So it was a really good day at the Goodwill. Usually the Goodwill at my house, or close to our house, it's less than five minutes from our house, really doesn't have anything. But I was shocked to see her there on the shelf just waiting for me. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with her. I'm going to start rubbing on the um, nail polish remover and I'll be back with an update. Okay, I have my nail polish remover and um, just the old washcloth and I'm gonna get to work on her face and I will be back with our progress. Okay, it's not even been like five minutes and I already have all the lip paint off and I can say she looks so much better already with just not even, um, you know, any paint at all than she did. So next step is the awful eyeshadow that has to be taken care of. Okay, like her um, lip paint, her eye paint's coming off pretty easy, but I switched to using a Q-tip because now I can control the area um, since it's a tighter space easier with a Q-tip. So I'm just dipping it into my nail polish remover and then just rubbing really gently. Um, her eyebrows are okay, so I'm leaving the eyebrows and just trying to get her um, awful eyeshadow off, but there is an eye with the eyeshadow and one without, and I think she definitely looks better without that awful eyeshadow. Okay, the awful makeup has been removed, and now I'm going to use just a bowl of warm soapy water and some more Q-tips and just go over her face and her eyes and just kind of clean her up a little bit, and then I will start working on her hair. Yay! She's looking a lot better. Okay, the next step is cutting out all this awful, like, thread that someone has put in her hair. Like, hair wraps or something. So, her skin is pretty good. 
She really doesn't have that many marks. Maybe like a little one on her foot to try some oxy tan on. But other than that, I think I'm going to work on her hair next. And to cut out the thread in her hair, I am going to use itty bitty. You can find these in like the beauty section of um, any store um, scissors because they're so much easier to cut out when you need um, to get that close in. So itty bitty little scissors. Okay, all the awful black thread is out of her hair. And her hair, actually, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I'm going to get a cup of water, like I usually do with my dolls, and my AG brush. I'm going to just brush all of her hair out, um, get all the tangles out, and then I may break out the um, ceramic straightener on the lowest setting um, and see how it comes out doing that. So, eek, there's all that black thread that I pulled out for poor hair. Okay, and to get any of the remaining lip paint, what I did was I dipped um, a Q-tip or a toothpick in the nail polish remover and I just kind of ran it in between her lips like that and it removed any traces of the lip paint that was still left. So um, now I'm going to get to her hair. Okay, and as I'm wetting her hair, I'm just going to go through and with my little itty bitty scissors over there, I'm going to trim her ends so that all of her hair is even. Okay, here she is with the awful eye makeup and lipstick off. Her hair has been combed and trimmed. And surprisingly, she didn't have that many knots or tangles. And her hair is in really good condition. There's very little frizz. I'm going to get out the hair straightener and just um, straighten her hair real quick. And she doesn't have that much hair, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but I think she's looking a lot better. And then I may get out um, the magic eraser and the Oxy 10 for a couple of marks. But she's looking a lot better. And then um, probably after that I'll give her some lip color. Just a little bit. Um, but yep. Yeah, there's my thrifty fine girl. Okay, here is Hope. I named her. She's no longer doll bait. Um, but Hope because I'm trying to give her new hope. Um, and she's had her hair um, straightened with the straightener and is drip drying. And I think she's going to turn out okay. She looks a lot better than she did. So um, I'll be back when she's completely done, dried, lip painted, and everything to show you the final product. Okay. Bye. Okay, a couple more things. I noticed her eyes were a little cloudy, um, so I got some top coat, clear top coat nail polish, and I applied it to her eyes. And um, sometimes this happens if you have to use the nail polish lip, nail polish remover. So anyway, I took the clear coat and I applied a coat to her eyes, and it made her eyes look um, shiny, just like new. If you can see that shine. So, um, just a clear coat of nail polish for cloudy eyes, and then I'm going to use, um, my lip liner brush and just a little bit of lip color to color her lips to see how that, um, just to give her a touch of color, not too much. And here's the finished product. She looks a lot different now than when I found her today. Um... So this is Hope, and um, I think she deserves to wear a pretty AG dress after what she's been through. So um, just comment and let me let me know if you have any tips or if you found dolls thrifty shopping and how you've rehabbed them. I love to hear your stories and hear what you have to say. Um, thank you again to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching and commenting. I really enjoy hearing what you have to say. Um, and I'm so glad I got to share this experience with you guys. So there she is. 
with her new lip paint and free of that awful, awful makeup. So, bye for now. I'll talk to you guys later.